Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you begin this repair, turn off the fuel valve and run the engine until it stops from lack of fuel. Now wait for the engine to cool down, then remove the wire and boot from the spark plug. Your next step is to loosen the screw to release the air filter cover. Set the cover and filters aside, then remove the screws to release the air filter backplate and gasket. Discard the gasket. Next, release the clamp and pull off the fuel line. Be aware that a small amount of gasoline may spill out. Now remove the bolt securing the carburetor and set the spacer aside. Rotate the old carburetor to release it from the throttle linkage and spring. You're now ready to install the new carburetor. First, attach the throttle linkage and spring. Next, align the old spacer and the new rear gasket with the carburetor and insert the bolts. Position the assembly and tighten the bolts to secure it to the intake manifold. Connect the fuel line and secure it with the clamp. Now place the foam seal onto the shaft of the new choke lever. Then insert the lever into the new carburetor. Next, use pliers to slide the new choke plate into the slots in the choke shaft and confirm that the choke lever functions properly. Align the new front gasket on the air filter back plate. Then position the back plate and secure it with the screws. Replace the filters and filter cover, then tighten the screw. With the new carburetor in place, you can now turn the fuel valve back on and reattach the spark plug wire and boot.